Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we getting on? So, something a little unplanned today. Bethesda have released a new trailer showcasing basically everything we've got coming over the course of this summer. A lot of which we've heard about before, but there's a few things in here as well that we have not seen before and they've not mentioned at all. So, they've been playing this very close to their chest. So, very much looking forward to finding out a little bit more about this. So, we can, today we're going to have a look at this trailer and pull it apart a little bit, see what we can find out. Okay then, so as I say, we've got a brand new Summer Updates trailer for Fallout 76. And I've had a little look at it, there's some very cool stuff in here. Definitely looking forward to seeing what they've got for us. So let's dive in and pull it apart. So before we do that, I should say, as per usual, I'm not going to play the sound on this. So I'll link it down below if you want to go and see it for yourself, watch it and hear all the noises. But uh, for reasons of copyright, can't really uh, play the sound. So hopefully this will work out just fine anyway. But let's roll this thing, shall we? Okay, so, first little look at uh, Colossal Problem, the new endgame uh, event they're introducing, the Wendigo Colossus. And a little look at the seasons that came out yesterday. Good strong start on that so far, it's looking really cool. I'm enjoying it so far. I have to jump onto that later and uh, do my dailies. Get the power armor. Sure about the uh, weight bench there. Definitely not seen any of that yet. Public teams, nice. <laughs> Good showcase for the public teams, actually. It's pretty cool. Legendary perks. Cool. So this is a little bit of a surprise. I think we're going to have a bit of a wait on that, though. And this is a totally new thing. Building up what would appear to be a brand new settlement. And from the look of that, planning ahead for the Brotherhood of Steel storylines coming in uh, next in the autumn. Very, very cool. Epic shots there. Wish we could get them as easily. Cool new outfits. Another look at Colossal Problem. Ooh, some different power armor stuff there as well. <laughs> and the usual Bethesda sense of humor on the end. Very, very cool. Nice. All this again. There's definitely a couple of things I saw that were very, very cool. Alright. The, the usual there, nothing new that we can see. I think that's probably the Mothman uh, backpack there. I can't see the details, but the frame looks appropriate. Got a shotgun looking cool. The very yellow dot rather than the usual green dot in the middle of them. For the reflex sight there. They've done a really nice design job on the 76 seasons, the first season. The legendary run, that's very cool. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the weight bench here. I haven't seen anything of that um, in the Atomic Shop yet or on any of the rewards for uh, 76 seasons. So I'm going to go with that's probably going to be an Atomic Shop item coming over the summer, if it's there at all. But uh, it's an interesting thing to be adding into this trailer. It's not something we've seen yet. So, I rec I'm reckoning Atomic Shop item, but that's quite cool. Fun to have uh, some more interactable stuff at the camp. Hopefully they'll do more than just the one weight bench. There'll be a few different bits and pieces make life a bit more interesting. There's a single item does not a gym make, so... It'd be quite cool to have something like that, though. Yeah, that's about how I'd react if I saw a Wendigo. Nothing major to see here, I don't think. Got a level thousand bloodied bill going on on the go here. Somebody at Bethesda's been playing hard. So legendary perks. Yeah, this we this isn't new, but 
they pushed it back. It was supposed to be in yesterday's patch, actually, but they pushed it back because the basic response from the PTS, and quite rightly so, to be honest, was that um, the perks were extremely underwhelming. There were tiny little, very, very situational bonuses that were practically not worth having. So as you can imagine, their response to that was not great. Um, so delaying it and reworking it, rethinking it, is definitely a good move. Uh, as to how long it's going to be, I said the other day that I'm guessing closer to the autumn before this comes out because they're going to have to completely rethink it and overhaul it. So I realised that the road, the road they went down in the first place was probably more to do with sort of trying to keep it balanced because let's be fair, 76 is not the hardest game in the world generally anyway. There's a few bits that are challenging but for the most part it's relatively easy. So putting in ridiculously OP perks is just going to make that situation worse so trying to balance that is kind of a challenge for them and obviously in the autumn they've got this big balance pass coming up as well with the uh, one wasteland thing so they obviously don't want to make it any harder to do that either than they have to so i can see the problem they're having there but it was very very underwhelming so we've got this listed on the summer updates trailer but my guess is going to be much closer to the end of the summer so obviously um the legendary run, the current season, runs through to the middle of September, and that's the summer season. So I would guess end of August, probably start of September at the earliest before we see legendary perks, as overhauling it completely is going to take time. And if they bring it out beforehand, then the changes probably won't be big enough to make it worth doing. We'll see. We'll have to keep an eye on what they're doing, and doubtless they'll have blog posts on the subject before too long. So interesting to see what happens. I think it's going to go into a subsequent uh, PTS iteration as well, so that'll be worth a look. But yeah, be interesting to see what happens with this. But I'm expecting a bit of a wait yet. So, a little look at legendary perks. I've got it attached up the top there above the uh, regular perk thing. Um, as we know, you'll be able to turn in existing perks for points that you then spend on your legendary perks. And every 50 levels, you will get another slot to put a legendary perk in. It's like it's a, an additional screen attached to the existing one, which makes sense. So we've got a ooh, little too far ahead, a little look at some of the existing perks, but uh, whether or not these have been changed or not, I'm not sure. I think these seem to be perks that were existing beforehand. So, okay, let's have a look at this one, Brawling Chemist, which is up to a four star, presumably you can rank it up four times. It will generate two combat enhancing chems every 40 minutes, up to a maximum of five. That's what, just sprawling chems, not particularly life changing. Okay, so collateral damage. This one definitely was in there. I remember seeing this again. Uh, enemies killed with a melee weapon have 20% chance to explode. That's quite cool. Probably do damage to you as well as uh, other people around you, but if you've got fireproof, it wouldn't be too bad. But yeah, that's actually not a bad one. That's one of the better perks. Blood sacrifice. When you die, your teammates gain 40 damage reduction and heal 70 HP over 40 seconds. That's not that big a deal, really. 70 HP is not vast amounts. Um, yeah, especially once you get to the level where these start kicking in, so... And that's only when you die if you're on a team, so very, very situational, not particularly useful, especially if somebody's not playing our team, so... Eh, not keen on that one. What else have we got here, then? half long Fireworks. Enemies killed with a ranged weapon have a 20% chance to explode. Okay, same as collateral damage, but at a distance. Again, not bad. Presumably they did splash damage as a result of that, as you'd expect for an explosion. That's actually not a bad perk, so I'm wondering if they have actually improved some of these. Power Armor Reboot. 30% chance to also revive a full health if you die in Power Armor. That's quite good, actually. So looking like they might have uh, started to give it a decent overhaul, which would be cool. And Exploding Palm. This is one we're going to see in just a second. When unarmed, totally unarmed from the look of this, 20% chance of triggering an explosion on attack hits. So you punch something, you got a, a chance of having them explode, or having an explosion come from your fist bit weird, but uh, that could be quite cool, especially if it does extra damage, and you've got the, um, got it boosted by Demolition Perks, so a Demolition Expert perhaps might make it pretty good. Okay, so we'll jump onto the next bit, get a little look at Exploding Palm here, and I'm not sure where this is. I'm not sure if this is a new location. That looks like possibly Somersville Lake at the top. Uh, yeah, there we go. So you just jump down there and give it a punch, and it goes bang. Yeah, I don't know where this is. It 
could be um, a new location that they're planning to overhaul again. Um, or possibly one of their houses not far from Riverside Manor, because if that's Summersville Lake, which it looks like it probably is, the only place it looks like is that sandy, deserty, that sort of thing. So there's a number of big old sort of mansions, I suppose, along the edge near Riverside Mansion that are somewhat destroyed and don't have a lot of use. So it's possible that those might get taken over and turned into something else, which is what it looks like has happened here. Bloody old place. Let's take a swing down there and see if it's actually been done already. I could be uh, missing a trick there. Like I've explored everything, so that's a possibility. But yeah, either way, interesting. Got some Fallout 4 assets coming back in. Might see a few of those overhauled and added back to the camp building system. Gives a few more options. So uh, we can we can dream. There is, after all, actually thinking about it, um, changes and big stuff coming to the camp system later on in the year. Presumably, I think in the autumn. Might possibly be in the winter. But either way, it was on the roadmap. Well, Bethesda have said that sort of thing is coming, so something to look forward to there. Hopefully we'll get some cool stuff out of that. New Community Challenge. So this is the really big, interesting thing. This would appear to tie into the upcoming Brotherhood of Steel stuff, and it looks like, for, at a guess, we're going to get um, a request from the approaching Brotherhood of Steel members, who will enter Appalachia and be involved in the upcoming quest lines and stuff, uh, to help them set up a new base of operations which doesn't appear to be Fort Defiance, which is cool. Um, as we're going to see in a moment, it's the observatory in the center of uh, the Savage Divide, which is really cool. It's a really cool location that's kind of badly underused at the moment. There's a lot of potential, but there's nothing going on there, really. So hopefully this will be very, very cool. But it's a community challenge to build it up. I don't know how they're going to do that. Let's have a little look, though. There we go. There's the observatory. Looks like it's going to be a vertebrate landing pad. Clearly under repair at the moment. And a, a few bits and pieces there. Fence. Beginnings of some fortifications around the observatory. It's the sort of place the Brotherhood would move in. That's the right colour for a Brotherhood flag. Colour for a kind of a raidery one, but hard to tell at that kind of distance. By the way, cracking shot. <laughs> we move it on a little bit. See, the place is starting to build up. We're starting to get some... Oh, this is cool. I'd like to be able to do some more stuff like this. I mean, I know we can build and snap stuff onto these um, fortifications, but we've only got a couple of straight options at the minute. Not very good, so stuff like this would be really cool. Very, very much keen on that. See, the place is being built up. So, with other games I've played that have community goals, which is not a long list, to be fair, um, it tends to be things like uh, gathering resources, stuff like that, and contributing them to the building up of the area, whatever it may be. So possibly it'd be a list of sort of shorts, probably a somewhat fetch quest, I guess. But um, quest to go out, find something that's required to build up the base and contribute to it, and it'll sort of slowly build up over time, would be my guess. As otherwise, they'd have to set it up as a kind of public workshop and have us actively build, which I can't see happening. This looks too set in stone. Looks like it's too Bethesda done. Not a bad thing, but um, it looks like the, something that's we done on the back end in over time as we contribute by donating resources, stuff like that. Hopefully begin to build a little rep with the Brotherhood of Steel when they arrive, or prior to their arrival. So I'll take that on a little further and see so we've got a few more bits and pieces. It's looking a bit more lived in, a bit more fortified. I say Brother of Seal because we can see, if we have a look down at the bottom, the logo is over the door and on the walls as well, and on some of the defences as well. Not to mention the massive one in the middle, that's kind of a giveaway as well. Which is very, very cool. Awesome to see the beginnings of some of the Brotherhood of Steel stuff coming in. Which is sooner than I anticipated, which is very cool. As I say, this is something Bethesda have not even dropped the slightest whisper of previously to this trailer, so very, very cool. There we go, another angle on the observatory there, see the flags. Let's see some more Brotherhood of Steel uh, clothing here as well, which is quite cool. Back of a protector on. Yeah, there we go. Some Brotherhood uh, caps, Brotherhood outfits. It's cool. Hopefully we'll get our hands on those. Possibly via the uh, new challenge system, the next season possibly. 
obviously not in uh, the legendary run, but subsequent one maybe, or possibly via the Atomic Shop, we'll see. But who knows, you may even get them as quest rewards, that would be the ideal scenario. Nice, awesome Brotherhood logo there, I would love to have something like that for a Brotherhood of Steel camp build, that would be cool. Brotherhood of Steel Collectron, I'm guessing, but Protectron nonetheless, very, very cool. Very nice. Or just general protection from the look of it. Very, very cool. And a few cool new outfits. We have a little look here. See uh, a new skin for the bow that looks pretty sweet. Wouldn't mind getting my hands on that. They've made some upgrades to the bow. I said yesterday, actually, in the patch notes video, that um, they changed to arrows, made it look like they'd nerfed it and shrunk down the range of one type of arrow. As it turns out, they've actually gone the other direction, so I'm not sure whether it's a typing uh, explanation error or if it's something they've just kind of slipped in stealthily, but the arrows actually have longer range than they used to. Prior to the yesterday's patch, the arrows kind of, they behaved sort of like a kid's toy bow, to be honest, which kind of looped off and then dropped, and it was pathetic range and weird. But now they behave much more as you would expect them to do. They fly straighter, they go further, and it's just generally a significant improvement, so. Contrary to what I said yesterday, I'm actually really pleased to see that. It was something I noticed while we were streaming last night, so very, very cool. Uh, very happy to see that little change. This is definitely an improvement to the bow there. So, pretty cool skin to go with that. And this outfit looks pretty cool from what we can see of it. Back a little bit, see if we can see it a little more quickly. There we go. Nice. Looks like it's kind of related to the um, light suit we got uh, yesterday in the Atomic Shop. The helmet's sort of similar. Uh, there are significant differences as well, so I'm going to get a look at that. Some cool stuff coming probably to the Atomic Shop over the next few weeks and months. Jealous of some of the amazing angles they've made, what capture on for this stuff. <laughs> Make uh, my videos much more fun. Oh, hang on. Spotted a thing there. Yeah, you can't see this very clearly, but you can just sort of see a new jetpack type on the back of this power armor, which is very cool. I think that's probably Secret Service, but I can't really tell from this angle. Have a look in a moment, but yeah. Awesome looking new jetpack style. And there's uh, another look at some cool outfits in a moment. So there we go. As we saw earlier on, that's definitely the Mothman thing. But definitely a cool new outfit here. Got a bit of a fireman possibly working. Uh, maybe some kind of um, hazardous workers outfit. Going on with the uh, trousers there. Cool new backpack design. Definitely like that. They have said there'll be more backpack designs coming over the summer. Have a look at this bow design, liking that a lot. Yeah, I like that backpack, got a little pick on there, kind of miner's backpack. Right. Yeah, that's cool. Definitely nothing massively new with these outfits here. This is the um, special reward outfit, the Mountain Scout outfit, I think it's called. Either way, it was a reward for people who played the game prior to Wastelanders. Uh, so people who are in that category have that to available to craft. So I think that's that outfit, looks to be from the back. This is uh, just one of the Raider ones, but a very cool looking thing, I'm liking that a lot. Windigo Colossus looking hideous. That is a pretty amazing shot. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Better look at it there. Some like actual rotor blades, like a mini vertebird on the back of your jetpack there. That's weird uh utterly nuts but very very cool i like seeing that interesting looking paint i think that must be new paint but i'm not entirely sure like it could be a new paint job on the back of the power armor very cool a lot of people like that i think we're going to see a lot of people running around with this on because it's going to appeal to a lot of people it's slightly wacky and daft but very very cool nonetheless i like it not much new there Apart from some more uh, camo armor, camo paint for armor, is this? Looks like it could be Secret Service armor actually, with a camo paint job on it. Gas rifle looking pretty sweet. And there we go. <laughs> so yeah, all in all, that's uh, everything I've spotted so far on the trailer. Some very cool stuff. I'm curious to see how they're actually going to execute this sort of community goal thing. Community achievement, whatever they're calling it, um, building up the Atlas Observatory ahead of the Brotherhood of Steel's arrival. That's very, very cool. Uh, but how are they going to actually carry that off? I have no idea. 
So community goals in other games they either have you sort of gather a resource and then contribute to something that basically pushes a progress bar up over time. Certainly how the other games I've played do it. Which um, can be fun, can be kind of dull. They usually reward quite highly. So it kind of offsets the less fun bit, I suppose. Um, what I'd like to see, if that's kind of the road they go down, is the sort of um, success milestones. So the more we contribute, the more the further up we push the progress bar and the more people getting involved with it the uh, greater the rewards get so we get some really cool rewards as a result of doing this hopefully but uh, we'll have to see what happens with that i'm looking forward to hearing more of what professor got to say on that possibly tomorrow given a uh, usual inside the vault blog post will be tomorrow we'll have to see but uh, doubtless we'll hear of it at some point over the next few weeks very very cool looking thing anyway and of course some cool new outfits Nice to see a little bit of a look at um, the stuff that we knew about as well. Although, we'll see actually when this stuff comes out. Legendary perks in particular, they look like the stuff they showed there is better than what they've shown in the past. But uh, we'll have to see whether or not it's actually better overall or not. So, be interesting to see that one. I would very much like to hear what you guys think of it. So if there's anything you guys spotted that I didn't, anything like that, I know. Hear your thoughts, how you think things might work, that sort of thing be uh, very much up hearing that down in the comments below so please do let me know what you think but for now as usual you know where all the buttons are if you'd like to show your love that's very much appreciated social media links down in the description as well if you want to catch up with me on twitter instagram or facebook to watch out for the live streams we're having a lot of fun i'm really enjoying the new season pass so far looking forward to jumping on doing a little bit more of that later on this evening and we'll get back onto that on friday deus ex tomorrow as well hopefully if my uh, news video comes out in sensible time so something else to look out for there we're having good fun with that and whatever we end up doing next beyond that so we'll have to have a look and see what happens there's a, a few possibilities there and last but not least if you're really enjoying the content please do consider supporting the channel a little bit more directly either as a channel member or checking out the merch store both of which are down in the description if you want all the information on that it's very very much appreciated so thank you very much for that for now i'll say thank you very much for watching i look forward to speaking to you all very very soon